Welcome back to my Cincinnati Bengals Connected franchise here on Madden 20. Last episode, we beat the Jaguars. It was actually a pretty successful game, and I really did not expect to win it because I thought their defense was going to destroy us. But quickly, before I get too deep into this episode, if you guys are new here and you guys are looking forward to some more franchise content, including this series and, you know, my rebuild series I have going on, definitely, you know, consider subscribing to the channel. It would be quite awesome if you can come back for my next upload. Also, one more quick thing. This isn't that big of a deal, but I just moved into a different apartment for school, so hopefully the acoustics aren't bad. I don't know. We'll have to see how this works out. But so we have a few things we can do, obviously, before we get into the game. We can view a message about Todd Gurley. I don't know why there's not one for Aaron Donald. I don't know how this works. I feel like it just randomly, you know, assigns one of the X-Factors to talk about. But what should we do? I'm actually going to kind of commit to slow him down because we've been very good against the run so far this year I feel like this could be beneficial so let's just do that I'm not gonna read these prompts too much you guys probably already know what they say and I did not read that well it's probably said beat the Rams hold them to a few touchdowns or something I don't know uh, so AJ Green our weekly <laughs> weekly negotiation with him I really want him back on the team and if you know it all comes down to it I will just franchise tag him it's not that big of a deal he just wants a better bonus and duration I'm not going to change the duration two years I think is the most I'm gonna give him maybe at the end of that contract if he's still pretty solid I'll bring him back but let's just try to bump this up a little bit more let's go to 5.11 still need to improve the bonus and the length okay well at some point I will don't worry about it I'm not gonna worry about anybody else down there either and now we can scout I really want like to draft a quarterback because Andy Dalton has been very inconsistent some games he absolutely goes off other games he does nothing but there really aren't many good quarterbacks actually there's this guy hold on he's a six foot five improviser there's a chance that dude can have some nutty speed that would be awesome so all these other quarterbacks aren't really special and yeah, i'm not gonna even bother scouting those guys down there john craft could be the man potentially in the second round i don't really want to waste a first rounder on a quarterback Especially one who I really don't think is going to be that good. He might be awesome. I don't know, but I don't think he's going to be a very high 70. He'll probably be like a 72. Mark my words. Maybe it'll be a really bad take. I don't know. But let's uh, let's keep going here. What about corner? Did I fully scout corners? I think I did. Actually, I did not finish. So I'm just going down here with cornerbacks. Anybody with a B? Probably not. It's pretty hard to find late round cornerbacks. D zone coverage. Clinton Ross. Okay, that is quite bad. Um, but today we have to take on the Rams. Who are 1-6? That is really surprising, dude. The Rams have one of the best rosters in this entire game, and they're 1-6 somehow. Okay, well, let's spend these experience points. Let me remember to check out their roster. Hopefully, I remember to do that. Billy Price. Actually, one of the better offensive linemen on the team. Let's go into probably Agile. I would like him to keep his scheme fit, and he's actually pretty good at most of the blocking stats. I don't really think there's anything in particular I would like to get up, so let's just go into Agile. Make him a 72 overall. He keeps his scheme fit. Awareness, pass block, finesse, run block, each by one, not too bad. And then Jordan Evans, right outside linebacker. He doesn't play all that much, so, I mean, it doesn't really matter, really, what I get up on him, honestly. He's just a backup. I would like just to get him to be a better tackler. I don't think he's ever going to be that solid, at least in this franchise. Obviously, anything can happen in real life. I don't think he's going to be that solid in this franchise. He's probably not going to really ever start, but he's definitely good depth. He's super fast, so always nice to have. I also just reminded myself, I would like to sign some more free agents before I get into this one, and I'll show you who I'm going to sign in a little bit. But Stanley Morgan, I kind of want to get him a bit more involved. I mean, he comes in, he's like our fourth wide receiver. He does come in a little, uh, you know, pretty often, but he looks like he's pretty fun to use. He's still a rookie. He's a 66 overall. He's actually still very talented with some nice stats. Let's go into, I kind of want to go into slot. Slot usually gets up a lot. So he's a 67 overall. He's also number eight. Does he actually wear that number? That's pretty cool. Awareness by two, agility by one, medium, and short route running each by one as well. And then Michael Jordan, our backup center. Just going to agile, I guess. He's a rookie as well, I believe. He's only a 59, though. Kind of want to check out his stats here quickly. My God! <laughs> well, I guess, what, what, what else would I expect from a 59 overall? Uh, but actually, I want to sign some free agents. I kind of mentioned this before. A couple of you guys were telling me to trade for some players. And, you know, I like the idea of trading for a couple of these guys. One of the dudes who was actually suggested, you know, to be traded for is chilling in free agency. So that's always cool. So we're going to do this. We're going to go to cornerback. We are going to sort by jumping. This guy actually looks like he's so much fun. So it is Steven Denmark. 97 jumping, 6'3". 
Let's just click on him here. He's pretty fast as well for being six foot three. 91 speed, 94 acceleration, 83 agility. He has really bad coverage stats. Decent press, honestly, to be fair. But 97 jumping, six foot three, and he has at least star dev. So honestly, that is for sure worth a sign. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him, honestly. And also lost, okay, that's weird. I'll figure this out in a second, <laughs> give me two seconds. Okay, we are back, and like I was saying, that guy actually seems like a beast. He's six foot three, ridiculously athletic. I wanna get him involved some way. I really don't know how I'm gonna do this because I like the cornerbacks we have. I really don't wanna trade Denard right now. I wanna keep him for this season. Honestly, I think I just wanna let his contract run out, but I wanna get this guy involved in some way. I don't know how. Um, maybe above Kivari Russell? Because he's 25, like he's not bad really. Honestly, that other guy has like just as good coverage stats. It's actually, okay, well, he, this guy, he actually does have, Russell has much better coverage stats, what am I even saying? But I'm going to put that guy who we just signed as like the number five corner. Maybe I can sub him in in a few packages because this dude seems like he's like so much fun to use in this game. So let me just throw him into the backup slot corner. Maybe we can get him going there. He's a 59 overall slot corner. Honestly, I don't care that much. His stats seem like so interesting. So, Kavari Russell, let's move, let's move him, and let's bring this guy up here. I want him in the starting lineup for sure. Maybe we can move. I actually, I'm not. I was gonna say maybe we can move Russell to uh, the practice squad, but I'm just gonna keep him in the starting lineup. That's fine. We may have to cut someone. I think actually, we have one more player we can sign. That's actually perfect. We don't have to cut anybody. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place right now. That's my bad. But the other player I'm going to sign is going to be a linebacker. So somebody said I should trade for Voshan Joseph from the Bills. But instead of trading for a linebacker, I'm just going to be signing one in free agency. Because I was just looking through free agency before I started recording. And I found a pretty interesting player. Shaquem Griffin is in free agency on the Seahawks practice squad. And we're going to take him. 91 speed outside linebacker. I mean, I get he's a pass rusher, doesn't fit the scheme all that much, but maybe we can have him pass rushing every once in a while. I am totally for that. I think this is going to be a very fun signing, because maybe I can user him every once in a while too. You know, he's, he has 91 speed. I mean, you really can't go wrong with that. Even if his coverage skills or his pass rush skills aren't that good, like he's still worth having on the team. So let's make sure he is in a decent role here. I think I'm going to have him be the backup outside linebacker. Also, William Jackson is confident. I will take it. So yeah, he's, he's the backup right outside linebacker as it is. Jordan, or right? Yeah, Jordan Evans is the third string now. Um, I'm actually fine with that. Honestly, that's perfectly fine for me. Let's maybe have... I can have him be like the backup middle. No, I'm going to have Jordan Evans be the backup middle. Let's do that. I'd rather have him there than Hardy Nickerson. Now we get a lot of these guys playing every once in a while. So that is fine. I'm perfectly okay with that. But now we can actually go into the game. Look at this. I remembered. Wow. I'm a genius. We're going to go check out the Rams roster. Turns out my friend accidentally signed into my account, so that's why it disconnected me. That's funny. But let's go to the Rams here, and let's check out their roster. Jared Goff is the starting quarterback. No injuries for him, so he's just chilling here. Blake Bortles is a 69 overall. That's very fitting for Blake Bortles. Okay, so I made this joke to my friends the other day, or my one friend the other day. I only have, like, three, but <laughs> I made this joke to my friend the other day. Um, if you guys are familiar with Blue Mountain State, it's a pretty... Interesting show. It's pretty funny if you ask me. Um, he re really reminds me of uh, the main character. Al what's his name? Like Alex Moran? Let me let me look it up. Hold on. Yeah, it's Alex Moran. Okay. He reminds me of Alex Moran in the sense that he looks like he's really trying to be a backup quarterback. If you guys have seen that show, you should know what I mean. I also really thought that about Jay Cutler for a while. Just a stupid joke. I don't know. But let's go to the running back, of course. Todd Gurley. Like the best running back in the NFL. One of the best running backs in the NFL. Daryl Henderson is also here, though. He's a 74. I didn't know he was actually that high of an overall. Hidden dev trade on him. This is an interesting player. 95 acceleration. He looks like a lot of fun to use. He's really small, isn't he? Yeah, 5'8". But he was, you know, fantastic in college. Malcolm Brown is also here. Derek Coleman starting at fullback. Brandon Cooks, Robert Woods, or Cooper Cup. One of the best wide receiver cores in the NFL. Honestly, they're all so good. Josh Reynolds is even pretty good. Gerald Everett starting at tight end. Tyler Higbee also here. Pretty decent duo there. Andrew Whitworth starting at left tackle. One of the best in the game. Joseph Noteboom. I actually don't know who this is. That's a great last name. Starting at left guard. Brian Allen at center. Austin Blythe at right guard. Rob Havenstein at right tackle. So pretty solid offensive line. A couple holes, but overall, not bad. Michael Brockers starting at left end. Aaron Donald here starting at right end. The best player in the NFL, in my opinion. He was also the number one ranked player in the NFL top 100, but I don't know. I've always thought, I, I've thought for a little while that he is the best player in the NFL. He's just ridiculous. We're going to have to really game plan behind him. I don't think we're going to be able to stop him, honestly. He's just that insane. 
Trayvon Hester starting at defensive tackle. DJ Jones is also here. Very big hole at defensive tackle here for the team. Samson Abukum? Ebukam? I never really fully knew how to pronounce it. I always thought it was like Abukum. I don't know. Let me know if you guys know the correct pronunciation. Or maybe I'm saying it right. Who knows? <laughs> Left outside linebacker. Corey Littleton and Bryce Hager at middle linebacker. Dante Fowler at right outside linebacker. Keep Tlaib, Nikel Roby Coleman, Marcus Peters at cornerback. Eric Weddle, the starting free safety. John Johnson at strong safety. But they also drafted Taylor Rapp, who only has 84 speed. I thought he was a bit faster than that, but I guess I am wrong. Greg Zerline at kicker. Johnny Hecker at punter. He's a superstar. I love that. Johnny Hecker, one of the most interesting punters in the NFL. But now that I went over the team and actually remembered that, we can hop into the game here. There you go. Nice play on first down. The first play of the game here. Todd Gurley goes down to the backfield. All right, third down and 13 here. Pretty quickly for the Rams. One of the best offenses in the NFL struggling. I'm trying to call this cover three. My lord. There we go. Let's see if we can get a stop here. That would be fantastic. It's going to go to Todd Gurley for a third consecutive time. And Jared Goff goes back to even. It's like he never threw a pass. Oh, John Ross breaking this one all the way to the outside. Johnny Hecker just has to get blocked. He's going to get blocked. John Ross with his first punt return touchdown, it looks like. Don't get caught. Okay, you're not going to get caught. John Ross, first points of the game on a punt return. Nobody even touched him. He's just that fast. There we go. It's honestly like nothing really happened here. At least, you know, if you look at the time. Not much time was taken off the clock, and we already scored. That's fantastic. First down and 10, Malik Jefferson, going to be on him here. See if we can get a nice interception. We cannot, and I don't know how I didn't make that tackle. Was I not close enough? Man, I swore I was. Jermaine Pratt just misses there and allows a first down to Everett. Let's call some nickel here. See what we can do. Going to be on Jermaine Pratt. Let's see if we can get another pick with him. It'd be fantastic. I'm going to look at Todd Gurley here. He's actually not going to be, you know, going out for a route too much there. And Jared Goff will connect again with Everett, but it's going to be fourth down and four. All right, third down and eight. Definitely in a passing situation. Let's see what kind of Andy Dalton we get here today. Been very inconsistent with him so far this season. Hopefully we can get something going today. Joe Mixon open on this, uh, you know, running back angle route. I love that route so much, man. It always gets open, I swear. 20 yards, essentially, on third down. There we go, Tyler Boyd. Nice connection there with Andy Dalton. Another first down on this drive. I'm going to throw it to Tyler Boyd. Go up and get it. Tyler Boyd almost brings it in. I feel like he drops a good number of passes. That's definitely a tough one to come down with, but I wish a superstar could come down with it. But we're going to punt here. Let's uh, I'm coming, coming for Bangle. I, I talk about this all the time. I'll be the best, best punter on YouTube one of these days. The best peener. I don't even know what I almost said. But here we go. <laughs> we're going to try to get this one out. It's going to go out at the 8-yard line. Okay, not a bad punt at all. all right, I'm expecting a run here with Gurley. Let's see if we can press the line. If this is an outside run, this is probably going to work, actually. It's going to be a pass, actually. And Jared Goff is going down. Geno Atkins, who else would it be? My lord, 15th sack this year, dude. This is our eighth game. Just let that sink in for a little bit. That's actually going to be an end around there to Robert Woods, and he is not going to gain anything either. Third down and 14 here. I kind of want to bring a bit of a blitz just to see if we can sack Jared Goff or something and get a safety. That would be huge. Gonna bring an outside blitz. Let's just be on Jermaine Pratt. Get back over the middle. This is another end around. It's going to be a fake this time. Todd Gurley gets it, and that could be a first down. Todd Gurley nearly got that first. My lord, he gained 10. They're gonna pump the ball back to us, though. AJ Green is open on this drag route. He's also gonna break out of that one tackle attempt and then just get punched straight in the mouth. My god, AJ. I'm glad you're all right, man. Let's go with an outside handoff here. There's a blitz coming from the right by John Johnson. Hopefully, we can run away from that. Let's go offensive line block. There we go. It looks like they're going to block super well. Joe Mixon can't quite get to the outside. Nikel Roby Coleman didn't entirely get blocked. He just got checked a little bit there. That's fine. It's still a first down. AJ Green's going to catch that one for a touchdown, apparently. What happened there? He just bullied Marcus Peters. He also just flopped. Oh, he's always oh, getting pinned. Okay. I guess Jonah Williams got back there in time <laughs> to pin AJ Green in the end zone. I don't know what happened there to Marcus Peters. He just got completely destroyed. I feel like, did I say Marcus Williams before? I really hope I didn't. Whatever. 14-0, though. We're going to go up here. Actually, we've had the lead. Man, I am just not in the right mind <laughs> to freaking record a video. Oh, my God. This is not going to work out well. Preston Brown on Brandon Cooks. Are you serious? Preston Brown is, what, like 40 speed? <laughs> Brandon Cooks has, like, 96. Okay, well, didn't even go to uh, Cooks. It went to Cooper Cup, who is, okay, was just standing, like, on Sean Williams' shoulder or something. Ah, oh, these animations, man, they get better every year. 
Oh my god, Robert Woods just got killed, but it was for a first down. Robert Woods is, you know, a very good wide receiver. He's very tough, so you expect him to bounce up quickly from that one. That's going to be a sack. Let's go. Jared Goff had nowhere to go. Sean Williams on the safety blitz gets back there. All right, let's be a little frisky. We're going five wide. Let's go. AJ Green actually has a free release. It depends where Eric Weddle goes, honestly. If he shades underneath or something, I might be able to hit him here. No, okay. A is wide open. It'd be stupid, I feel like, not to take that one. Tyler Eifert, very simple first down. I was very tempted to take a shot downfield, but realized it was third down. Figured that would be kind of stupid. Let's run the ball here with Joe Mixon. Oh my god, Aaron Donald shed like immediately. Joe Mixon gets out of all that traffic, though. Not bad whatsoever. He's having a pretty solid start to this game so far. About five yards per carry for him. So running the ball here doesn't really seem like a great idea. Just because Aaron Donald is right there. My god, can we like triple team him or something to get this first down? I'm actually going to take this one to the outside. I don't want to run your Aaron Donald. No, it didn't work. Okay. I thought I'd be able to go to the outside and juke back in. Fourth down and two. Is this go for it territory? It's go for it territory. I don't care, guys. We're doing this. This team, I don't think, has much of a <laughs> much of a shot this year to do anything special. So here we go. Let's go with it. We're going to make this work. Never mind. I feel like Tyler Eifert totally could have put a little bit more effort into that one. Whatever. Probably wasn't a great idea to go for it, but who cares? Not me. I can tell you that much as I start to tear up a little bit. That's going to be intercepted. Jermaine Pratt. Very easy pick six. Jared Goff, what are you doing there, pal? What did you see? I was there the whole time. <laughs> Jermaine Pratt, I believe, his sixth interception on the year. You know, the fantasy football players in this universe, those who own the Bengals' defense and special teams, are probably very happy if they started them. Oh my god, I almost got another pick. If that was a little bit overthrown, I was there, but Jared Goff puts it right where he needs to. I think this is going to be a run play. Call man coverage. We're going to blitz here. Jermaine Pratt gets there almost immediately, but he's not actually the one who even makes the tackle. Let's go. Carl Lawson gets back there. I don't get it, man. Our defense is playing very well right now. I don't want to jinx it, though. Knock on wood. <laughs> See what we can do. This is actually a screen pass. Thrown into the turf by Jared Goff. Let's go. We're going to get the football here back again. John Ross, return another one. All right, we didn't return it. It's a sad day, but it's okay. We got it to the 18-yard line. Let's go with the run play here to good old Joseph Mixon. I can't get to the outside. Aaron Donald, he flexed out over that way? All right, man. I don't like him, dude. <laughs> I guess I should say I don't like playing against him. I like Aaron Donald. He's fantastic. He's just annoying to play against. Now we're running right into him again, man. Do you just know what plays we're calling? I don't like this. Is he going to stop it again? He actually didn't stop it, so that's good. Joe Mixon picked up uh, about five yards there. Right, we're going to slant AJ Green. I feel like he's going to get open right across the middle. AJ Green, wide open. Of course he's going to hold on to that one as well. If that was any other receiver, I would have been a little worried that they would have dropped it through the contact, but... Never even crossed my mind with AJ. We're kind of running away from Aaron Donald in this play, but I still feel like he's going to make the tackle. <laughs> you ready for this? Here we go. There we go. We actually got past him. Okay. He's honestly like, I have to worry about him every single time we run the football. That's how ridiculous he is. Both in real life and the, I'm sure in real life coaches worry about him way more than I am, but in the game, it's even that big of a deal. Oh, AJ Green's wide open there. Nice job. That was actually a really nice throw by Andy Dalton as well. We're getting a pretty good Andy Dalton today, and I'm totally for it. Let's just call some good old verticals. Pretty far out of field goal range right now because the winds are against us, but maybe we can get some yardage back here. Oh, Tyler Boyd's actually wide open. Nobody covered him. Tyler Boyd, nice first down. Let's go. Let's uh, let's take a timeout. I would hurry up, but I don't want to run off like 12 or 10 seconds, whatever it is. Third down and six. Let's see if we can just throw it up here to Tyler Eifert. Oh, Tyler Eifert's not going to catch it. And he's injured. He was, like, about to get up, and then he remembered he got hurt. <laughs> that looked really funny. So I'm not going to worry about, you know, rushing Tyler Eifert back onto the field. He just had, like, an ankle bruise. So I'm just going to have Drew Sample coming in play until Tyler Eifert is ready. But seven seconds left. They're just trying to get down to the field to make a field goal, and they're actually going to do that, man. Three plays. They got down to the field, down to the field so quickly. That was actually kind of absurd. I'm going to check this one down. Joe Mixon has it. Going to juke to the outside. Oh my god, he actually almost juked out all of those players. That would have been amazing. Andy Dalton, though, only seven incompletions. Not playing horribly today. Hopefully we can continue his success right now. Okay, what kind of pass was that? I did not mean to throw that on the run. And that's going to get picked off. Are you serious? I, mm, okay, that's my fault. Definitely my fault. I thought I stopped with Andy Dalton. I want to see what happened. Why did he... I was, like, backing up with him, but I thought I stopped running. 
I tried to stop like there and throw it, but he just, oh, he did that. Okay. I tried to stop here and throw it to him because I thought Tyler Eifert was pretty open in this situation. I tried to stop and bullet it, but he just like got caught in that kind of animation. That probably is my bad. I definitely um, was running a little bit too much with him there. I probably should have stopped <laughs> like fully and then threw it. Whatever. That's, that's my fault. I didn't think that would get picked off because it kind of bounced in the air a little bit, but it's whatever. They have the ball back again. See, those interceptions are on me. That's not even much Andy Dalton. I try to take into account, or at least take responsibility for, like, the really bad throws I make. I try to hold myself accountable for really crappy decisions. I think that was a bad decision. But, uh, whatever. We'll get over it. Oh, my God. I just went too inside on Todd Gurley. He was able to get outside on me. A couple of the defenders do that against Joe Mixon all the time, and I always criticize them, and I just made the same exact mistake. Why did I go for the interception, man? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. That pass was nowhere near me. I realized, like, right after it was thrown, and I was already holding a Y. Like, I, I don't know why I did that, but whatever. First and ten looks like a run play. It's not going to be a run play. We're going to cover this player. So I'm going to get back there. Okay, come on, Sean Williams. You came up so far. Wait, okay, Cooper Cup pushed him, man. Throw the flag. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, third down and eight. You know what we're going to do here? We are going to sub out... Darquez Denard for, where is he? Denmark. Denmark's coming in. One of the newest players on the team is going to play this one. I'm going to user him, man. Let's do it. Let's user Denmark. What can we do? Can we get an interception with him right away? That would be fantastic. No, I should have been there. Oh, that's my fault. I tried to bait him into the throw, but he threw it a little bit faster than I thought. And William Jackson is injured. That is not good. That is... Ooh, okay, please don't be a long-term injury. It looked like he was holding his elbow, maybe? Ooh, okay. I'm glad we signed another corner then, at least. Because if we need one to check into the into play, I think that guy's actually ready right now to do just that. Let's go for the hit stick here. Okay, I just missed. What's up in this game with hit sticking, man? It never works out. Strained tricep. He won't return for the rest of the game. That is very worrisome. I don't know how long of an injury a strained tricep is, but... I feel like when you strain or, you know, mess with a muscle, I feel like that's a pretty long-term injury. Please don't be that bad. I'm so worried about that. William Jackson is clearly our best corner on this team. Because Rams offense definitely, like, came alive here in the second half. My God. Let's get pass. It's going to be a pass play. It is. I was right. It's going to be slants, though. I can never cover slants. Okay, well, I just got to say that every time, I guess, that I can never cover slants, and I'll just get an interception. Preston Brown. Let's go. I think that's his first of the season. Unless, I don't think he got another one. I could be misremembering, though. All right, third and five. We're just going to go with this uh, vertical play with, like, a couple wheel routes, I guess, on the outside. RB is open, I think, and right before I got the throw off, Aaron Donald was back there. All right, we can't let him get another sack. I think he has the same ability as Geno Atkins, and you guys can tell by the stats how ridiculous that ability is. We really cannot let Aaron Donald get into the zone. Also, I'm going to try to shorten this kick a little bit because there's a lot of wind. Uh, that was a horrible punt. What am I talking about? All right, Bengal, maybe you are the best punter on YouTube. Okay, that's going to be a broken tackle by Cooper Cup as well. He's going to go down at the 45. I don't know why I thought six mile an hour wins would take the ball so far. Gee, okay. I'm glad I'm winning this game because it, it, this could have been going so much worse right now. I am not like in the right headspace to record a video right now. I don't know what's wrong. I think I'm just tired. That usually happens, but Todd Gurley's definitely coming alive. He was pretty, not, I wouldn't say bad. I was going to say he was, he was bit, pretty bad in the first quarter or in the first half, but that wasn't true really at all. He just didn't get too many attempts. But now that they're giving him the ball more, he's definitely destroying us. Our run defense has still been, like, actually all right today. There's been a lot of uh, tacklers in his face, and he's just made him miss. Todd Gurley gets another pass. He's gotten, like, six receptions, and I'm pretty sure he has about three yards. Andy Dalton has been all right today. He hasn't been fantastic, but also hasn't been too bad. I'd like to keep the ball on the ground, though. Joe Mixon getting a lot of space here. Lower your shoulder. All right, you can't entirely get it down, but it's fine. Picked up a first down. I'll take it. AJ Green is tired, and I don't want him to get hurt. I'm, like, so worried about that. So we're going to sub him out here for um, good old Stanley Morgan. Um, I might go to Williams here. Travion Williams, maybe? Across the middle of the field. I'm going to throw it to him. Oh, I was going to say great catch, but he couldn't hold on to it. That's all right. We're pump we'll pump the football away. Hopefully pin him deep now. This should be a good punt. Here we go. That could go into kick outside. Come on. There we go. Look at that punt, man. At the two? All right. I'm just, I'm just saying, I mean, I sounded like the, <laughs> I sounded like that hot dog guy, the dude who just swallows the hot dog and spits it back up, if you guys know what I'm talking about, I'm just saying, alright, well, here we go, <laughs> here we go, I'm gonna run commit, we have a pretty big lead in this game, I don't want to do anything stupid and blow it, but, 
doing stuff stupid and blowing it is my I was gonna say my middle name but that's a it's a quite a long middle name and kind of suggestive if you just take the second half of that one. Oh god dude I just need to what am I even talking about right now am I even being entertaining I don't I don't actually know we're gonna run commit again Did they audible to a pass no they didn't audible to a pass okay go down to the end zone Todd Gurley no chance no Todd Gurley come on man he's gonna get a 99 yard touchdown on a run commit Oh my god, man. I hate you, Todd Gurley. I'm just saying, though, if our punter doesn't make the Pro Bowl, that's a problem. That was a lot of peas. That was some good alliteration there. Alliteration with, with Shram here. But he's been fantastic this year. We've been pinning teams very deep, and uh, the Rams didn't really care <laughs> on that one. I guess Todd Gurley in specific really didn't care about the field position on that one. AJ Green to the outside. I'm just going to take that to him. Duke this man out. Oh my god. He's nasty in the open field. He is, like, so much fun to juke people out with. His I don't know what his juke move is in this game, but it has to be, like, upper 90s, honestly. It seems so smooth. I really want to hit Tyler Boyd on this one deep down the field, but I don't know if I'm going to have the time for it. Oh, no. Throw it away! Throw it away! Throw it away! I tried to throw it away. Crap. That was a huge sack there. That sack was almost bigger than Nick Foles's. But here we go. Third down and 16. Oh, my God. Here we go. Uh, AJ Green, maybe? Oh, he got... Freaking checked a little bit. Mm, I didn't expect that to happen. He was going to be wide open if he had a clean release next to that player. It wasn't really a release, but if he ran by that player cleanly, he was going to be wide open. Well, they're passing the football, so Todd Gurley probably won't be a factor on this one. He could catch it still, I guess, but... Oh my god, I almost jumped that perfectly. I was so close to being there, but at least I didn't go for the interception. I had the awareness that time to actually go for the tackle and stakes. So if I would have went for the pick, that could have been pretty bad, actually. He would have gotten, you know, many more yards. Make this play! No, you're not going to, Malik Jefferson. Man, Everett ran a perfect route there, to be honest. I thought Jefferson had the speed to catch up to him again. I think he's... Is he faster than Gerald Everett? I'm actually a little bit curious. This shouldn't take too long. Everett's having a great game. Dude, tight ends are just, just destroying us. I think that's our linebacker ineptitude here, but in, hopefully in the offseason we can address that. But let's just see. Gerald Everett, 85 speed. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Malik Jefferson has like 88, so he's definitely faster. Surprised he got, uh, you know, that blown by. He's not great in coverage, so that's probably it. Speed isn't everything. First down and 10. Todd Gurley's still in the zone. That freaks me out, man. There's another interception, though. I don't know what I just started that sentence off with. That was weird. Jermaine Pratt, two picks. Getting the better of Jared Goff today. Looks like this safety's blitzing. I think it's Eric Weddle, so I'm going to go with some slants and go to A.J. Green's side here. Actually, he's not going to be too open. Wait a second. A.J. Green. There you are. Get this block, Tyler Boyd. That didn't really work. You blocked the wrong guy, to be honest, but it's okay. We still got the first. Tyler Reifert, please make a play. Oh my god, Tyler Boyd, catch this! No way! No, you dropped it! No! Dude, that could have been the coolest freaking touchdown pass of Andy Dalton's career. That would have definitely topped the tipped one AJ Green got in the Hail Mary, honestly. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I'm pretty sure it was tipped. And we're really not in field goal range. I'm, taking, I'm trying this. I know there's six mile an hour wins against us, but... I don't want to punt the football right now. You serious? I'd rather just go for it, to be honest, even though it's 4th and 18, but let's just... Let's see. 56 yards? You can make this with the wins. Come on, Randy Bullock. That's definitely good. That was not good. Are you serious? Okay, Randy. Uh, <laughs> definitely overestimated Randy Bullock there. First down and 10 here for the Rams. So we can just get another interception or something. Not going to be an interception. Not even close to one. Gerald Everett. Pretty sure goes over 100 on the day. Oh my god, I couldn't react in time. That pass came in so quick. Why did he even throw that, dude? I was right there. If that was a competent player, that wasn't an interception. But it was me, so you got away with it. Throw this. You won't. He won't. And that's going to be caught for a touchdown. Oh no. Please, don't let me blow this lead. I may not, you know, be able to upload this one without getting destroyed if I blow this lead. <laughs> this is not going to be good. Oh, I have to sneeze. Wait. This isn't fair, man. The Rams are doing this to me. They're making me sneeze so they get this two-point conversion. Ugh. No way. You pushed him in. Oh, God. Okay. The sneeze went away. This is just a, this is just a mess right now. AJ Green on the streak, I think, is going to be the look. Come on. Pass interference? Please tell me that's pass interference. 
That's as calculated as it gets. All I'm saying, that's payback for not getting called for that <laughs> in the championship game. Was that too soon? Might be too soon. First down and 10. On the football here, Joe Mixon, of course, he fumbles the football. Oh, my God. I'm going to cut Joe Mixon. I'm not, but Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Stop fumbling. What? I just got an update on my phone right now. Andrew Luck is retiring? That is, that, that's something else. That's all I got to say. That is actually absurd that that just happened, that he retired? My God. All right, well, anyway. Let's, uh, let's try to finish this game. It's funny, though, because <laughs> on the video I uploaded today, you know, on the day of recording, this was my it was my Buccaneers rebuild. In that video, I mentioned how Andrew Luck could totally win MVP. Like, I could see that happening. I don't think that's going to happen now. Just, uh, just saying, oh, my God, what am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? I thought he was going to cover the tight end. <sighs> this is not a good day for football. Andrew Luck's retiring. Lamar Miller tore his ACL, and Shrammy's gonna blow this massive lead. Okay, there's two players on this side. Oh, great block by Gerald Everett. Oh my lord. Okay. Dark as Denard actually almost made the tackle as well. Oh, this is not looking good. Well, I'm actually just setting it up, so we're gonna get a nice game-winning drive. That's the plan. I'm gonna blitz here. I feel like this is gonna be a run. Why would you not run it with Todd Gurley when he's in the zone? You're not gonna run it with Todd Gurley when he's in the zone, and that... Mm, okay. One of my player, the player who was manning up on Cooper Cup actually got blocked by accident by the receiver to, I think, Cup's right or left? I don't know. He ended up on his left. That could have been picked off, actually. I'm pretty sure the player I had was breaking on that pretty quickly. And now I blew this lead officially 28 to 24. No, come on, man. I'm so sorry to the Bengals fans out there who really care about this team to win. <laughs> Oh my lord, please, please keep watching. It'll get better once the team gets better. I don't know. Maybe I'll get better at the game too. That probably won't happen, but the team will definitely get better. I'll tell you that much. All right, this is risky, but okay, please work out. This is very risky. I'm going to block Tyler Eifert. Come on. I didn't block him. I threw him on a drag. B. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. You're, that got intercepted. That pass. That right there was an intercepted pass. That You're telling me that wasn't the right play? That wasn't the right... Reed, are you serious? I mean, he's not, like, super open, but John, that wasn't even all that bad of a throw. John Ross just, oh my god. I'm sure this is more painful for you guys to watch than it is for me to play. And I really apologize for that. We'll get better, I promise. It'll, it'll get better at some point. Oh my god, man. We just need to hold them to a field goal here so we can at least tie up the game. I'm worried to blitz, because I feel like if they pass it, it's going to get very open. This is going to be a play action. Oh my god, and he's so open. Oh no, no, it switched me. I'm gonna freaking lose my mind. It actually switched me onto the wrong player. We lost this dude. <sighs> uh. <sighs> Alright, AJ Green. Not AJ Green. Tyler Eifert. That's gonna get picked off too, man. Come on. Okay, this game just wanted me to lose. Oh my god, AJ Green is, I feel so bad for him. He's nasty, he's having such a good game and it's just not even going to matter really. Hopefully we can at least get the pass off AJ Green on a streak. He should burn by that corner, that wasn't even close. AJ Green, please. That's getting picked off too? Oh my god, these interceptions, honestly? Let me think, one of them was 1 million percent my fault. The one right when I came back from the whole Andrew Luck thing, that was not, I can't even argue that it wasn't my fault. I threw it directly to him. But I feel like every other interception was just so unfortunate. The other, the first one I threw was my fault. Like, it should have at least been incomplete. I understand. I get why it was picked off. It was a really poor decision. We at least got a safety. I mean, whatever. It was a poor decision to even throw that, right? But these jump ball ones, man, come on. And AJ Green was in the zone. Does that not mean anything? All right, at some point... We will make this team very good, and we're going to win a lot of games. But uh, Andy Dalton was pretty bad. He had a 40.8 rating. Oh, my God. 16 for 34. Okay. Joe Mixon wasn't particularly good either. He also fumbled. That didn't help. 
AJ Green was phenomenal. Tyler Boyd was okay. Joel Mixon also pretty good, I guess. A bunch of sacks led up today, but I actually spent way too much time in the pocket. That's not even really all their faults, to be honest. 16 tackles for Preston Brown today. Two tackles for loss for four different players there. A couple sacks, Sean Williams and Geno Atkins, and then two interceptions for Jermaine Pratt, one for Preston Brown. Jermaine Pratt also had a touchdown. John Ross had a touchdown. Just those things don't, didn't even matter in the end. Look at the lead we had like the whole game. And they just destroyed us in the fourth quarter. I can't believe I let that happen. That is so frustrating. So um, let's just agree to put that game behind us. <laughs> that should have been so easily winnable. I don't know what happened, man. I'm going to blame the fact I'm in a new apartment. It's a new setup. Definitely not an excuse. But uh, next week, we actually take on our bye. It's going to be a very riveting episode now. Okay, so <laughs> I'll do all that stuff next time. But then I'll also take on the Ravens, of course. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I... Definitely apologize for the outcome. I apologized a couple times already. I apologize too much, I think. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, one more time, thanks so much for watching. If you guys ended up enjoying, feel free to leave a like on the video. It would be phenomenal if you could. These videos have been getting a good number of views, a good number of likes. I appreciate the support so much. I've been growing like crazy. Honestly, I don't even know what to say. It's been awesome. Thank you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.